Hey guys! So this video is my top 10 favorite actors. To go along with my other video, that's my top 10 favorite actresses. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So just let's get started. So I'm going to start with my two favoritest. And this isn't, the rest of this list isn't in, in like a like 1, two, two, 2 to 10 order. But I'm going to start with my favoritest, favoritest, favoritest actors. And they are... George Clooney and Matt Damon. They're the type of actors, like, if they're in a movie, that I'm like, I have to see it. Because it's going to be good. Because why else would they be in a movie if it wasn't good? And this is especially true with George Clooney. I just watched Descendants, which was amazing. I love Up in the Air. Um, brother, oh brother, where art thou? Um, when he was on ER, oh my goodness. Like, my brother and I, I think it was during the summers, like, off from school, we used to watch, like, reruns of ER, and definitely the best ones were when he was, like, the, the, the generation of ER when he was there. Amazing. And I really want to watch Ides of March, but I, um, haven't watched that one yet. I need to get caught up on my movie-age, movie movie on my movies. I need to get caught up, but I'm not, I'm so behind. Anyway, and then I mentioned Matt Damon, which is amazing. Um, all the the Born trilogy, which now they're making into what do you call it? If it's four. I don't know. Um, but those movies, the talented Mr. Ripley, him on Thirty Rock. I mean, hello. So yes, my two favorite actors. Um, and then we have, the, of course, I talked about in my favorite actresses at Kate Winslet. So I also had to bring up Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, who I think the first time I really knew about him was Titanic, where he's like just beautiful and like amazing. Um, and then I watched reruns of Growing Pains when I was younger, and like I was like, oh my gosh, Leonardo DiCaprio! Like those were like the episodes where you like, oh my gosh, I have to watch it. Leonardo DiCaprio's on it. Um, but I think it's interesting as an adult, he didn't really go for that like heartthrob way. I feel after Titanic, people would watch the movie again and again just because they liked him so much and they were just so like captivated by him. Um, but he didn't really go for the heartthrob like route. He went for more like interesting sorts of characters and he doesn't, even I think in movies now, he doesn't look like this gorgeous specimen. He's more like real and like... I'm not going to go for just beauty roles. I'm going to go for, like, real and re interesting roles and really prove that I'm a good actor, not just some, like, hot celebrity. So I really appreciate that. Okay, so speaking of hot celebrities, my next person is Ryan Gosling, who I also think he's beautiful, but he goes for, like, very, um... Like, interesting roles as well. He doesn't, like, typecast himself and only do... Like, he was in The Notebook, and he could have just done those sort of movies... Um, but he doesn't. He does, like, interesting roles. And one of the most interesting ones that I really liked was, what was it called? It was the one, Lars and the Real Girl, where he, like, plays this guy that's in, like, an intimate relationship with, like, a blow-up doll. <laughs> and it's just really sad because he's just kind of, like, lonely and, like, misunderstood. And it's a movie you'd think would be weird, but it's actually really good. Okay, that sounds weird. Um, Yeah. And he's also in Ides of March, so I definitely had to watch that movie. I mean, if two actors I really like are in the movie, that has to be on my must-see list. Um, okay. Next is Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who you just, your heart breaks for him in 500 Days of Summer, and also Inception. Love that movie. And look, it has multiple, multiple people on my list in that movie as well, so of course, of course I love that movie. Um, okay, next, some funny people, funny men. The first one's Paul Rudd, which I think I first saw him on Friends when he was, like, dating Phoebe on Friends. Um, and then he kind of just started showing up in all these, like, different, like, comedy, comedy movies, like, um, was he in Role Models? I feel like he was in Role Models. And what was that other one? My best man, which I thought was pretty funny funny and then recently not recently but last like I didn't watch this movie when it came out but like I watched it like later on but it's clueless it's like amazing clueless and just clueless in general is an amazing movie so I definitely had to put him on their list also with funny people Rob Lowe 
Oh my gosh, Parks and Rec is amazing, and he's literally the best, like, surprising character. Like, I wouldn't think Rob Lowe would be, like, funny, because I always see him as more of a dramatic actor, but uh, he's literally hilarious. Um, but my personal experience with him, when I, my family went to California for the first time, we were staying at, in L.A., we were staying at the Biltmore, and I guess it's a famous, like, hotel, and they, like, filmed, um, I guess, like, Ghostbusters there, and it's just used for, like, Hollywood sets and different things like that. Um, and while we were there, they were actually filming parts of West Wing, which Rob Lowe used to be on, and I feel like, I don't know, it was like, we're filming right now, so we, like, went and looked, and, like, they're, like, a few, like 20 feet away from me is like Rob Lowe and I was like oh my gosh and he like looked at me and I was like oh, I don't know who you are but you're a celebrity and this is amazing and now I think it's even more amazing that he's like on my favorite TV show yes so amazing um and such an awesome character too okay funny men funny men so the next one is Jason Bateman who is hilarious um he's always plays that like I don't know, like a similar sort of like, oh, you feel bad for him type of role, but he's kind of like a dumbass, but not completely, I don't know. But very, very funny, and I'm excited for the rest of the development. They're supposed to be making a movie, and I almost that made the list was Will Arnett. I feel like I want to get the rest of development on DVD and just watch that. I like so many things I want to do now, jeez. Okay. Next actor, which isn't really a funny actor, so we're kind of going into more random ones. And this one's kind of a random one. The next one is Mark Ruffalo. And I feel like he always kind of plays like the, you know, like the friend character, the kind of like, you know, not so, you know, clunky, I don't know how to describe his character. I guess the movies I've seen with him are um, 13 Going on 30, where he's like the friend that like, you know, I'll help you, the good guy type of character. And then, um... Oh, the kids all are right. That movie. Oh, I want Hunger Games to come out anyway. So in that character, he's sort of like, you know, like random character. But he's kind of a random person on my list. But definitely should be on my list. And then the last, wait, one, two, three. Yes, the last one is Christian Bale. Who's definitely a lot more of a drama actor than all these other ones. Um, but love him in, like, the new Batman series. I can't wait for Dark Knight Rises, which is going to be coming out this summer. Um, and then also The Fighter, which I really, really liked. And he just really gets into his characters, I feel like. And I don't know if I'd want to meet him personally, because I think he's probably pretty violent or intense. But, like... I think for acting, especially for dramatic roles, that that is really a, like a good thing. So you need to be a little bit craze cray for that sort of job. But anyways, those were my top 10 favorite actors, and I would be interested to see which ones you guys agree with. Are there some that I listed that you completely hate? You know, who are your top 10 favorite actors? I'm interested to know, and yes. Also, if you've seen any good movies lately, let me know that as well. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.